While I was getting close to releasing my first game on Steam, I realized that I have to make lots of images for the achievements. But manually putting the icons over some background, then coloring them in like four different ways, seemed really tedious. And for example, if I later realize that the background isn't good enough, I have to do everything all over again. Luckily, that's where scripts come in handy, so let me show you how to save a lot of time. But before I would get into the tutorial itself, feel free to check out my puzzle game Steam page and wishlist it, or join our Discord community. Links down below. And if you'd like to see more game development content like tutorials or devlogs, subscribe and hit the bell. So, let's begin. All you need is a background image, icons with transparent backgrounds, and some colors. And then with a simple click, you've got your icons ready to use. First, let's download Image Magic from the link in the description and install it. It's a cool command line image processor. And then also download the script from the description and place it in an empty folder. Paste your background image by the script and name it as background.png. Then create two folders called input normal and input ranked. After this you've got to get some icons with transparent background. Personally I just used gameicons.net. And I suggest it to have a white foreground, because applying the colors later on will be a bit unprecise otherwise. And then place these icons in the input folders you've just created. If you want to create a single achievement from an icon, then put it in the normal folder. But if you want to have multiple ranks or levels for an achievement, like kill 100 enemies, kill 500, etc., then put it in the input ranked folder. Oh, and watch out for the image's dimensions because they won't be scaled. Personally, I use a 700 by 700 image as a background and 512 by 512 images as icons, but feel free to experiment. And now all you have to do is to configure the colors. Let's right click on the script and click edit. The main things you can change here are the unlocked colors and the locked color. Of course you can fill with shadow color and shadow offsets, but this should be enough. And if you'd like to generate more ranks, just create a new color variable up here, call the procedure with the new rank, and also duplicate this line to assign the rank 4 color to the rank 4 version. After saving the file, you can just double click it, but if you want to see what's happening under the hood, then shift right click in the folder and click open PowerShell windows here. And then just run it. And now finally, you just have to use them. Well, that was it, and I hope it was helpful. If you'd like to see more content like this, like tutorials or other game development content, just subscribe and hit the bell. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.